Today, we're going to show you how you can digitize buildings with drones and AI. For this, we use as an example the Mini 4 with the DJI Fly app. To get started, you unfold the propellers, then you unfold the antennas, you switch it on by pressing short and then long. And before you get started, you have to check the satellites if there's enough um, reception for that. Normally above 10, that's all right. The drone says takeoff permitted and you can start. Before starting, check that you're not in sport mode and then you can get started pushing down both of the sticks to the inner position. Then the drone takes off and in order to get started, you fly above the house and you position the drone next to the building, normally about five to 10 meters above the building. You can see that in the middle below, right now we're at 19 meters and we position the camera at about 45 to 60 degrees so we can see the full building. Then you push the button for the camera settings, you select the hyperlapse mode and then you select circle. And when you selected that, you tap the screen and then you select from the top left to the bottom the full building, so the roof and the facade that you want to see in the building. Then a menu pops up and you switch from five seconds to three seconds for the hyperlapse. And then you're already good to go and you hit the capture button. Now the drone starts to rotate around the area that you have selected and creates 75 images. So please make sure that everything that you want to see later on the 3D model, like the roof, the facade is well visible on the images. If you see the drone actually doesn't stop after 360 degrees, it stops after 75 images. If you have a small building, it might go around a bit more than 360 degrees. If it's a very large building, you just hit the plus one button and it extends from 75 to 100 images. When the flight is done, you can hit the little green X and close the marked area again. Then the drone automatically creates a hyperlapse video that we don't need. We just need the individual images. You can switch back to the regular photo mode and you can land your drone safely. Once you land it, you pack it up and go to the office. You can connect it with the USB-C um, connector or alternatively, you can use the micro SD card, you push it in um, and then use an adapter or you directly put it into your computer. Then you have two folders, it's the DCAM and then it's a DJI folder and a hyperlapse folder. You select the hyperlapse folder with the images that you created. You select all 75 of them. Then you can go to the Air Team project, hit data, upload, and you can either pull in the folder or all the 75 individual images. And then you're already done. Thank <music> you.